So hey, good Friday morning to you from Captain Chuck's here in Ludington. Couple of great reports, got a show teaser as well for you. Stay tuned, we've got a quick recap of Croton and Hardy. Guys, if you're out there in the Muskegon area and that Nuego County area, there's been a really good bite on Croton and Hardy this year for really nice walleyes. Chris Brandt's gonna give us an update. He took his boys out here just a couple days ago again, got into the walleyes big time using tip-ups and some minnows. Then we're gonna move down to the Coldwater Chain of Lakes, South Central Michigan, and we got a really awesome report of the whole area. Steve Webb, who basically spends his winters ice fishing and enjoying himself, which is what we should all be doing, gave us a four lake report. So you're gonna wanna sign into fishermansdigest.com, click on the fishing reports tab, then click on South Central Michigan, and he has a detailed report from everything from Womplers to all of the lakes in that south central area and that are part of the cold water chain of lakes. Some awesome fishing going on for bluegills and crappie and perch. So we'll get you that report and then as well as a show teaser. Stay tuned, it's Friday morning. It's time for two more great reports and a great show for this weekend. Hey guys, a quick recap. We've talked about Croton and Hardy here for the last oh, month or so. Chris Brandt sent us an update, and as you see these fish pictures going across the screen, you'll get the idea. There is some awesome picture, uh, fish being caught right now, walleye specifically and pike, along with some perch being caught on tip-ups there in that Croton Hardy. Depends on where you like to fish. Chris fishes both of them. Just depends on, on any given day, I guess. The bite has been happening in eight to 10 feet of water, light line tip-ups, so 10 pound test, if you're gonna mix pike in, you really have to move up from that four to six to about 10 to have any chance of getting them in. Now the pike are coming on a little bit bigger, so two to three inch, I mean three to four inch sucker chubs. The walleyes have been coming on downsized ones, so the maybe two to three inchers. Here's one of the observations Chris has said to me. He's seeing a lot of his walleye bites come exactly a foot off the bottom, so setting his tip up to be a foot off the bottom. Also the fish he's catching are loaded with two to three inch minnows. So first year minnows, even bullheads, he says. He's been opening up the bellies of his walleye and finding anything from perch to bluegills to bullheads to, to you know, just river, river stuff like chubs and, and sticklebacks. But two to three inch seems to be what the walleyes are eating. So drop that size bait down to them, one foot off the bottom up there in Croton and Hardy and hang on. You see the pictures going through, man. It's happening from four to five o'clock. It seems like the walleye bite is happening from four to five o'clock. He says it seems like right before the sun is starting to drop, they're coming in, they're feeding heavy in that shallow water. I'm sure if you were fishing a little deeper, you could get them a little earlier and that might be an idea to set up out in 10 to 15 feet of water with a spread earlier in the afternoon and then having another spread in shallow so you can maybe get two, two waves of bites going. But whatever you do, make sure you got some tip-ups in that eight to 10 foot of water because that's what's happening right now. Thanks, Chris, for an awesome report. And your sons look like they're learning how to be Michigan residents. So hey guys, if you're looking for a cool chain of lakes to fish that you may not have ever fished before, Steve Webb gave us just the most detailed report for each of the next four lakes, like uh, Randall Lake and Coldwater Lake, Cemetery Lake, down there in that cold water chain, he has got a, the lake by lake report from a whole week he spent there this past week. Now this is valuable information that guys should be able to use for years to come. So I'm gonna encourage you to go to fishermansdigest.com and click on the fishing reports tab and then click on South Central Michigan. You can print this whole report out. It is a long one, too long for me to even get into here, but I can tell you the basic premise that Steve used was tungstens, waxies, and spikes, multicolored spikes. On each lake, it seemed like the fishing was just a little bit different, but the one common denominator, Steve said, was the fact that fish were relating on the outside edges on the deep side of the weed edges. So eight to 13 feet, depends on what weed patch you're talking about. And the fish were really aggressive when you found them. So again, electronics, soft little bluegill panfish rod, small three, four millimeter tungstens with mouse or, or colored spikes, 
and then it's just search and destroy. You're finding weed patches or weed edges. You're gonna go on the deep side of those weed edges and you're gonna jig around the deep sides of those weed edges. You can use a jig and spoon to try to call fish in. That does work like a halley jig or something like that. You know, a smaller one where you can still get a bite. Um, but uh, most of the bites were coming on tungstens and, and, and waxies or spikes. Uh, so four different lake report there from Steve Webb, and thanks Steve so much. Steve's gonna be giving us a Wamplers report next week, so those guys who are in that neck of the woods, that greater Jackson County area to the, to the west, uh, Steve's gonna give us a great Wamplers report as well, so stay tuned for that next week. But again, go to the website, print off this report. It's got a lake by lake uh, account of exactly what's going on there on the cold water chain of lakes in south central Michigan. Over the last 25 years, Offshore Tackle has dominated the freshwater trolling industry. For the next 25, we're not about to stop. Precision engineering, American reliability, and filling thousands of live wells, one board pullback at a time. Offshore Tackle, the obvious choice, my, my choice. choice. That's why Offshore Tackle has outperformed and outsold any other brand in history. Offshore Tackle is your leader in trolling technology. Hey guys, if you like fishing with kids, you're gonna love the next show. Watch this quick little intro to this weekend show out of St. Ignace. It's family fishing with my buddy, his kids. We had an awesome time whacking lake trout. That's right, early season. We're talking the first of May. You don't think the fishing's going on up there in that St. Ignace Straits area early in the year? You would be dead wrong. Stay tuned, watch this trailer, and we'll see you watching the show this weekend on your local channel. Hey sportsmen, John Bergsman here, behind me beautiful St. Ignace, Michigan. We're here early season, now the first 10 days in May or so, and we're here with Travis Laver, his wife Rachel, Andy, a good friend of theirs. We're gonna go out on the big angler quest and we're gonna show you just how awesome the fishing is here, even early season. You know, so many people look at this as just a destination to come for tourism. This is an awesome fishing destination, stay tuned. People ask me, hey Steve, why does your sausage Viennas and brats taste so great? It's what we don't put in our sausage and Viennas that make it taste so good. No artificial flavorings or fillers in our products. Just the freshest cuts of meats and the finest herbs and spices. Here at the Country Smokehouse, we make over 160 variety of specialty sausage and jerky. Visit the Country Smokehouse and build an unforgettable gift box. And if you're too busy to come into the store, come visit us at countrysmokehouse.com and order your gift box. Hey, thanks to Captain Chucks for lending me an aisle for an hour. Hey, if you're interested in all these educational videos, we got them every day, Monday through Friday. Log on, be a Facebook follower on Facebook at Great Lakes Fisherman's Digest. Put the, punch the like and follow button and you'll get all of these valuable fishing information videos on a daily basis. Every morning at nine o'clock with your cup of coffee at your office desk, you can watch our six or seven minute videos to figure out where you're gonna go fishing later in the week. Hey, thanks for watching us. Thanks for supporting the show. We'll see you next week with more videos from the Fisherman's Digest.